I'll be talking about award-winning editor Paul Hirsch, if you couldn't guess from the title. The only editor to have two Saturn Awards for best editing, and I'll tell you about how he tries to keep us, the viewers, engaged like you can see from the footage here. You'll see one of his editing techniques as soon as Ethan Hunt finishes changing the skies. There, a standard cut. This cut was used to show that Ethan Hunt has seen something the audience should know about that is connected to the plot. Here you'll see a few cuts, mostly cutting to POV shots between Ethan and the Russian police officer. It gives the audience a feel like they are on edge with both of them, seeing the edge through their eyes. Then there's a cutaway scene to really emphasize how high up Ethan really is. In this scene, we find Ethan climbing the Burj Khalifa just like the last scene I showed you. Paul Hirsch really tried to emphasize how high up he is and cuts at moments like when his glove stopped working to keep the audience on edge and cuts to a bird's eye view just when he was about to drop to add more suspense. He also included a couple of cutaways. The editor shapes the story. The editor is the problem solver, the director's confident and sounding board. The editor will go through the script with the director to let them know what can and can't be done in the story. The editor will make a quick rough cut which won't change unless the director changes the narrative of the story. The editor is responsible for setting the mood, suspense and excitement of the film. They have to be able to work on their own, be technical, a sense of narrative, know how to help the director achieve their vision. The editor will work on films, television, commercials and music videos. They have to know how to use editing software like Avid Media Compressor, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro. They also have to be able to use local and external drives and also servers and networks. Here we see Ferris Bueller about to enter the shower and leave the shower in less than 60 seconds. The technique Paul Hirsch uses is a jump cut to make the audience think he took a shower in normal time and this technique is usually used to speed up time. Back to Mission Impossible, here we see a few techniques Paul uses but the one I want to focus on is the cross cut which shows four different scenes happening simultaneously. Here Paul uses the cuts brilliantly to keep the suspense and to show the audience how close they were to actually failing the mission. He also added a few jump cuts to add suspense to this car crash. To finish on a little bit of a lighter note, in this date movie scene, we see Paul Hirsch use a montage to show how they transformed Alison Hannigan's character from an unattractive woman to a very attractive woman. The montage shows the audience how much work went into the transformation and the process they went through to transform this girl. With a little bit of exaggeration as you can see for comedic purposes. <laughs> <laughs> 